Hey, good morning. Good morning. Josh? Uh, Daniel? Yes, sir. Awesome. <laughs> good to meet you. Yeah, my pleasure, man. Kevin told me so much about you. Uh, he yeah. said you're going to go climbing. That's the guy to do it with. So. Excellent. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, finishing getting everything together. Should we go ahead and uh, uh, strap this on? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you get uh, one of these vests on. You don't want to get you know, shot by a hunter or something crazy like that. <laughs> Wait, you're joking, right? <laughs> you're probably. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. So here you go. They're safe and sorry. And so, then, uh, I hope this one's me. Get this one for a second. You get the student one. Uh, nice touch. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So this, uh, this your first time climbing? Um, well, uh, yes and no. I've been practicing for like about a year or so on the rec wall. Okay. Um, so at the climbing center. Um, but like for real, this is my first time. Like actually outside yeah. doing it. That's uh, awesome. I'm just, I'm stoked, man. Yeah, this is, it's a, it's an amazing and invigorating hobby. Yeah. You're gonna love it. So how long have you been a climbing instructor? Well, I've been doing this for about like 10 years, but then I got offered the job as instructor. Oh my gosh, I, I jumped at the opportunity to yeah. get paid for doing what I love. I bet, man, that's this awesome. This is amazing. That sounds amazing. Cool. All right. Well, hey, um, I usually start off these climbs with a prayer. You're welcome to join if you'd like. A oh, prayer? Yeah. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm good. I'm, I mean, just, yeah. yeah. But you do what you have. You, you go for it. Okay. Go right ahead. Yeah, cool. <sighs> Dear God, I'd like to thank you for this beautiful morning and this opportunity to take this climb. Please watch over us as we make this dangerous climb and please guide us through safety and deliver us from any sort of peril that we might come along the way. In Jesus' name, amen. Josh Taylor is a young man that possesses amazing knowledge about the intricate details of plant life and mind-boggling information about animals. His unwavering opinion about Darwin's writings, the Big Bang Theory, and his strong belief in the fictional character, Mother Nature, has brought him to a false conclusion. He admires the beauty of God's creation, but does not believe in the God that created it. Unfortunately, he is not aware that his misguided beliefs will cause his story to be told right here in the Rapture Chronicles. There is a worldwide phenomenon, phenomenon poised to take place and can happen at any any given given moment moment it is called the rapture the rapture we endeavor to communicate stories from the perspective of those who are prepared and awaiting as well as those caught off guard These fictional episodes will become someone's reality. We call these accounts the Rapture Chronicles. All right. You ready to go? I'm ready to roll, man. All right, let's get on out of here. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. cool. This. I'm following you. All right. Hey, look, look. Right in the center. See those bull thistle weeds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right next to it, that monarch butterfly? Yeah. I'm surprised you even see those. They're almost extinct on the western side. That's so cool. Fun fact, people think that when they land on you, it's for good luck or because they like you. In fact, they're trying to eat you. That's how they dissolve and break down what they eat, which most people think is just nectar. That's oh, gross no. and fascinating. They eat people and animals. That's so cool. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right. Yeah. Hot off. Awesome, All right. So basically, we're gonna be snaking up and around here. Right. And then, as we get up closer, okay, we're gonna be we're gonna Somewhere stop up one? there. Right. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shh. Shh. Look. Look. Check this out. You see that? What is that? That's a male. Rufus hummingbird. You know how rare it is to see these? Like, I really know your stuff. I, these are nearly extinct. 
They've gone down 62% from 1966 to 2014. And these creatures are amazing, yes. amazing. Look how beautiful that thing That's is. Incredible. Look at this stuff like that. You know they beat their wings 10 to 80 times a second. Per <laughs> That's second? crazy. Wow. Let's keep going. Let's see what else they can find. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know what that one is. Cody up there, right there. Oh wow! Right there. Yeah, yes. <laughs> You're actually incorrect. I think we probably should pick a different path. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go. go let's, let's go this way. Check this out. Wow. Look what happened here. Isn't that crazy? It's like our own little micro ecosystem. Yeah, <laughs> termite city. Yeah. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're about to do a two hour climb okay. up to the mountain summit. Okay. All right, so I just want you to be careful and uh, mimic my every move. Okay? Okay, cool. Got it. All right, let's get moving. All right. Yeah, Dan, I really love Mother Nature. I mean, Studying plants and animals and, and landscapes was like my dream as a kid. I was even going to go to college to become a naturalist, but my parents talked me out of it. Well, my friend, the way I see it, you should make up your mind and begin to pursue your dreams within the next school semester. Oh, I wish it was that easy, Dan. But with my job now, I'm always on the run. I had to take time off just to squeeze a moment to get out here with you and Mother Nature. Come on now. This part's a little bit easier. Whatever you say. <laughs> uh. Check this out. Wow. That's crazy. Feel that breeze. Wow, this waterfall is beautiful. I love you, Mother Nature! My friend, 
Uh, let's rest for a few minutes uh, and take in God's wonderful creation. Uh, then we'll finish the last leg of this climb. Yeah, sounds good. I could use a rest though. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> what a sight. Yeah. Holy cow. No way! Look, look! See that? Over there, look, on that ridge. Yeah. Right in the tree line. That's a, con uh, that's a California condor. Oh my god, that bird is look, huge! I, yeah, it's huge! You see the size of that thing? Oh my gosh. I think their ring span is something like five feet. Crazy. You know, they call them flying primates. What? So they say. I know, I know, because they're such smart social birds. Yeah. Sounds Crazy. like Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yeah, might as well be, man. Oh, the stuff you see out here, it's just breathtaking. I gotta tell you, I'm really, I can't be happier that you brought me up here, man. I've been waiting for this moment. I've been waiting to get out in nature, like literally. Yeah. Uh, I had to take a vacation for this. Uh, thanks for bringing me out. Oh, it's my pleasure. I love this. <sighs> me too. I don't know, man, maybe it's the naturalist in me. Or maybe it's the scientist's point of view, but this just makes sense, man. You know, the Big Bang, Darwin's, Writings, look at what Mother Nature has created. Well, just, creation doesn't resonate with me, I don't know. We've all you know? been given the right to uh, express our own beliefs, so. Well, yeah, but, I mean, so, what are you saying? You're saying you believe in the Bible? In creation? Yeah, yes sir, I do. I believe that God created all of this. He created me, you, Everything that we're seeing out here. <laughs> yeah, right, but why? I mean, that doesn't make... I mean, if you think about it, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, how do you know what the Bible says is true? Look, one day, like it was like seven years ago, I'd realized I had everything that I ever wanted. I had accomplished most of my goals, but I, there was still something missing. Like this empty, I, I don't know, this hollow feeling. And it just wouldn't go away. I. I ended up talking to a friend about it. She introduced me to the Bible. Well, so I started reading and I was fellowshipping at the Faith Town meetings and I don't know, at just some point it just, it just made sense, it just clicked, you know? I just, I could feel God working in my life. So I gave my life over to Jesus and I mean, I became more like a Christ-like one. Wait, a what? <laughs> a, a Christian. And now I experience his blessings every day. And honestly, I, f I feel so much more at peace, even just knowing that the things that are too big for me to handle, Jesus is gonna take care of those. I, look, if you would have known me <laughs> before this, this would all make a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah, sure, Dan. I mean, that's, that's great and all, but, but I've heard this exact same thing or, or, or something very close to it from, from all kinds of people, from all different religions all around the world. I mean, how do you know that your faith is the true one. Look, the difference is Jesus. Look, he's the only one that's ever been resurrected after death. And he's the only one that's going to come back and catch away all the saints throughout time and take them up into heaven. I know, yeah, right, I know, I know. I've heard the story, you've been talking about the rapture, right? Yeah, yeah that's it, yeah. <laughs> wow, Dan, I mean, I'm sorry, but like, do you know how crazy that sounds? Look, whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. It's gonna happen. Yeah, but how? How? <laughs> how? How do you know that anything anybody has said in the Bible about the rapture is true even? Well, how do you know that everything that they've said about Darwin's readings but, are true? Okay. Okay, you got me there, touche. Look, let's just chalk it up that maybe we need to do a little more research. That sounds fair to me. Hold on. I'm just glad <laughs> that we can have these discussions and still remain respectful. Absolutely, man. I guess in the end, we're going to find out who's right anyway, the Bible or Darwin. I suppose we will. Are right, you ready to take this climb? All right, I'm ready. Let's go. All right.
All right, come on up. Uh, just grab onto here just like I did. Uh, can you reach that? Uh, it's, uh, maybe. All right, give her a go. Hang on. Uh, all right, all right, come on. I'm slipping, man. That's oh, all right, it's me. all right. I got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, take a quick second here. Give me five. Uh, oh, you made that look so easy. <laughs> man. Wow. Uh, wow. What a view. Yeah, it's beautiful up here. I say, man, I'm jealous to get to do this. This is what you do. Yeah, but all by God's grace. <sighs> it's really something. Yeah. All right, well, before I lose my steam. Yeah. Let's keep it going. <laughs> all right, let's go. Woo, I don't want to look down there. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, let's head up. <sighs> this part's a little bit easier. Yeah. Okay. All right, before we get up this last one, I'm just going to get All you right. tied off. Okay. Don't pull on until we got you secure. Right, you got it. All right. Okay. One second right. here. Right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I don't know, but we Daniel. need to get you out from down there. That's not safe. That's not safe. Hey, is it? Let me just get Do you have it? Or Let me what? just get it tied up. Let me just I know. Get... Are we good? Daniel, I don't feel good. No. I don't feel come safe down. Come on, come on. We're, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. Please get me up. Come on. Don't let me down. Let's go. Let's go. Daniel. 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 Gotta get down. <laughs> God has perfectly shown us his great power, wisdom, love by all the things that he has made so that they which fail to believe and do not trust in him are without excuse and without defense. Regrettably, Josh has hung his faith on fables and hypothetical writings, which has now left him hanging on for dear life. It is important that we securely stand on the solid rock of the Bible. Everything else is sinking sand. The next time that you admire the beauty of God's creation, it is our hope that you keep this episode in mind. If not, we just might find your story here on the Rapture Chronicles.